What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk and No Premium, back with another episode of the Market Overview, guys. Today, today we had, what, another lower, low, small little liquidity grab there from Friday's low towards the open today. Um, boosted right on up, but did not clear the previous day high being Friday. So downtrend is still on. I'll talk to you why I think we could be coming to a probably a, a near local bottom of that trend. But first, let's look. What do we have on the docket for tomorrow? 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a bunch of durable goods data. I don't think it'll move the market that crazy. Nine o'clock house price index um, month over month, uh, year over year, all that good stuff. Uh, but really what I'll be watching for is the consumer confidence index that comes out 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We know that that is 30 minutes into the market. Open new home sales right underneath there. Um, and then that's really it for the remainder of the day. Kind of nice light day tomorrow. Really just going to watch 30 minutes in consumer confidence, new home sales. Don't forget tomorrow we have Jerome Powell, right? At, excuse me, not tomorrow, Wednesday. We have Jerome Powell right at open. But a, a little bit right now I want to talk about, look, look, we had, you know, we basically dropped 100 off the highs. It took, you know. Basically, an entire week plus some to do to do that. Um, you know, I really feel if we would have sold off already, we would have done it. Bears would have really had a day where it was just a bloody massacre day on crazy high volume. Haven't really had that yet. We kind of just keep drifting down here a little bit. One thing I did notice is if you just take a peek here, right? We're continuing to make a bunch of lower lows, right? But if you look at the RSI. RSI from this drop is really starting to make higher lows, right? If you kind of take a peek in here, whoa, right? We're making higher lows on this RSI, right? So what that tells me is this, is the strength of the downside is getting less and less and less. So for tomorrow, I will be looking to see, look, as long as we hold 43.67 and if, or depending, I mean, we could gap up, I have no idea. Or if we clear 4408, 4408 would make a higher high on the daily from Friday. Granted, over 4400 for today would put us over that as well. But I think 4408 would be safer. It would really show us that we could, uh, we've cleared the higher high there uh, on the daily chart and looking for higher lows above anywhere from 4400 to 4410 area. Higher lows above that intraday tomorrow, we could really get going back up to the upside. So for today, I'll watch this 4367 area. Uh, to hold, really don't want any lower than 43, 48. You can see this gap from the contract roll here on ES. Uh, pretty good little gap down to 43.27 underneath 43.50 area. So tomorrow, watch this today's low, which will be previous day low for tomorrow. Watch 43.68. Really don't want under 43.50. Okay. Or watch for us to take out 4,400 to 4,410. Look for a higher low in that area for continuation to the upside. Watching the SPY chart now here, uh, going to look very, very similar to the ES chart. Why? It's a cash ETF, as you can see. Already had that uh, bullish divergence. Shared it with, uh, if you're in the Wolves Wealth Discord, obviously shared it with the group today, seeing why I had my thoughts of why I feel like this pullback is losing a little bit of momentum here. We could be coming to find a bottom um, for tomorrow, really. Want to watch this 431.50 area. We saw in here, we knew possible back test is 430. Two, we had it in the morning and bounced up. Okay, now we closed underneath it today. So remember this little bit of balance we had in this area, anywhere from 429.50 all the way to 430. I will be looking for a bounce in that area. Now, if we get back above this 432, call it 432.50, we want to see if we could take out 435. Like we said, high today was 435, 434.50. You could play the break of that, a little bit of a riskier entry. I like to see the break of 435. That would tell me we broke two previous days high, and this downtrend could be over, okay? Could be over. So intraday, I'd want to see a break and hold, maybe a back test, 435 up, 436.50, 438 to 439 is a gap to fill up there. Uh, if we stay below 432, really watch this, four, uh, 429.50 to 430 for a bounce test. Okay, QQQ, what's going on with the Qs? Qs came down to that balance area, right? 357.50, we were talking about it. 
We knew from over here we have multiple touches on the top there. So let's see, does that hold for tomorrow? If it does, great. Okay, we could possibly even gap up and have a small little wick down in the morning, causing for a higher low. Really need to take out 360. 360 will bring on 364. Break and hold of 364. It's a double top on this daily. It would take out both those previous highs from Friday and Thursday. So all about this 357.50 tomorrow, we either hold it, take out 360, target 364, or break below it, make a lower high. I think the real only short here is a lower high of today. Okay, intraday especially, 357.50, then it could take us down to 352, 348 below there. Okay, IWM, what's going on with the Russell 2000 small caps? Holding the top of that balance. You guys remember that balance zone we were in for, seemed like an eternity here. Uh, it was a three-month-long was a three month long balance. Okay, we stayed in here forever. We broke out. Now we back tested it. A little bit of weakness here, a little bit of buyer weakness here showing these wicks. So, really, tomorrow, all about this 189.50, excuse me, 179.50, all about this 179.50. If that holds, target today's high 183, 184 to five above there. Break and hold under 175 puts this gap fill at play from over here, 177.50, all the way down to 176. Guys, that is. All I got for you, remember, data 30 minutes in, PAL is on Wednesday. And as usual, you need to wake up early, get your levels right, and of course, not do anything fucking stupid. We'll see you bright and early. Peace.